Hey, it's KMA. Welcome back. Welcome to the corner, and I hope your day is great today. And we had just made it to the Shire. And to bring up the uh, menu menu, you hit the L button, and um, it first shows you this map. This is what you're going to see first. And as you see, this, the um, Middle Earth is huge. Um, spawn, where it shows me over here, is about zero zero. If I were to travel out to Mordor, we're at like 116,000 blocks away by 80,000 blocks. The world is huge. And what makes it um, more possible to get to places faster are these waypoints. I think that's what they call them. And the tan beige ones are the ones that have been unlocked already. And the darker ones, like out here at the Fair Downs in the Old Forest, are ones that are not locked yet but to lock them you just walk into the region so like if i came over here and walked into breland which i mean it doesn't seem that far but it's still like 6700 blocks which is pretty far it's deceivingly big this world these waypoints would be unlocked and what i can do is hit on them hit f and it fast travels me there which seems kind of cheaty if you're in the middle of battle but when you hit f there's a 10 second cooldown time so you can't escape being attacked because once you hit be are hit when you're in fast travel mode it won't let you fast travel so it's good that they have that protection so you're not um, a scared little guy and running away from battles and stuff you will die so don't don't bother trying so the world is huge there's lots to explore we also have the factions which I'll go into in a second or two achievements um, different achievements for general, so I've entered Middle Earth, so I've unlocked achievement, and there's 45 different more, and you can go to the different ones for the different factions, uh, each place has their own achievements, and a lot of people play this to specifically get all the achievements, I don't even know if that is possible, I've always kind of thought that it would be great to start off as a good guy, then get all the achievements as a good guy, Is then is it possible to switch over to being... A bad guy and slowly change you know invert your factions and all your points and stuff I I would be interested to see if that actually um, works or not or if you would have to set up another uh, world to play bad if you've been playing good I am not 100% uh, familiar with this uh, mod I'm learning it as I go I don't know the theories or tactics that you can have for the mod so I'm, I'm gonna learn this as I go I'm I guess I have a lot of people around me that can help me out, so that's a good thing. Um, I can have a title, I'm not a big fan of that, uh, specific shields for different f factions, and you know, some more world settings. Um, so yeah, that is pretty good. And if I use the left and the right key, it will change the factions on top, and everything is zero, zero, zero right now because I uh, have yet to do anything in Middle Earth. Because we have just got here. So, this portal forms. Let me get out of this view. And <clears throat> this is the way back home. So, one of the first things I would like to do is set a waypoint right here. Let me get out from underneath the thing. Um, I don't want a waypoint right underneath. I don't know if that would be a um, problem. I co create a custom waypoint. Return to create it and this will be spawn Spawn Oh, Okay, <laughs> it's like well, taking a second there. So we just created a waypoint at spawn So now if I ever wanted to I can fast travel right there Which is good if I ever wanted to get over to the vanilla world, but I don't think I'll ever want to get over to the vanilla world also when you start off, you're given this chest right next to where that is formed. You're usually given a couple of pouches, which also gives you a um, an achievement. And what I like to do, actually, I, I have my 1.9 plus uh, texture pack on. So in 1.7, the created area is a little bit different. So uh, if I'm keeping this texture pack, it's going to be a little weird. I might just make one specifically for this game. But I just created, made two small pouches into one medium pouch. So nine and nine slots creates 18. And I'd rather have one pouch um, just for the giggles and stuff. 
Um, inventory space is a huge problem in this game, um, but they've done things to make it better. And you've also given this book, which is your mini quest, and that is how um, we change the levels. Uh, you see how I got zero on the Hobbit spar on top? That is because I have yet to do any um, anything for the Hobbits. I'm gonna steal. Yeah, no, you know what? I'm gonna leave this chest here. Just it's always nice to have a chest here, just because if I do come back here, I will. Um, I will probably use it. So let's check out the Hobbit area. Um, lots of modded stuff around here to look at. We got the clovers and the new trees and. I don't know if those are modified trees or whatever. Hold on one. Okay, that's gone. I'm getting an antivirus warning on my screen. We got a whole bunch of shadow foxes. And we have uh, new new homes for the hobbits. And they look different than I remember them from the past. Hello. And we go inside. And we got hobbit people. And we just kind of steal things from them that we may need. Um mostly food and uh, stuff like that and that I should have shown you what this is this is a hobbit oven which is a, a, one of the things that a lot of people really like in this game you put your food up there and just you can spread it across this whole thing why don't we just cook all this up for now just to show you we put the coal down there and all of this food instead of having just one piece cooked <clears throat> Excuse me. You can cook up to nine. So that is definitely a very good thing to have. Um, it's almost done and we can move along and I'm going to steal this because see, that's what we do in Hobbit Land. These guys are friends, but we just usually just take their stuff and things. Sorry guys, that just didn't look. And uh, each each one of these homes that are set up like this, I don't like stealing the plates because they're just like a inventory problem. Waiting to happen. happen. Um, you have the hobbits, and you see this guy, he's got an exclamation point. That means he has a quest for us. And if we finish the quest, we will get points on the hobbit faction. Each one of these also has a barrel of alcohol. So let's see what this guy wants. Can you be a good friend and bring this old hobbit some sweet two cider? Sweet two cider. Well, it's been a hard day in the garden and I'd love something to drink. Sounds pretty hobbit like. Um, so I guess there's two cider. I can just really, but this doesn't say sweet, so I don't know if that will work. But let, let's accept this quest and see if we can uh, get him some cider. Let's see if we got some. I can make, oh wait, how do I make the, um, there's a way to make uh, a couple of cups. I forget what it is. It's something to do with wood. Hmm. Could it be like this? I don't remember how to do it. What is this? Gate gears. Okay. No. Well, I need to go find a couple of empty cups. Maybe, maybe I'll just drink one of these. <laughs> Excuse me, yeah, thank you. I want to see if this will actually give him one of the things. Uh, hurry, my throat is turning. See, I did collect one of the two. So I need another cup, and I can give him the other one. And as you see, once you have a quest with somebody, it shows a book atop their head, which makes them easier to find. And if you are in the map, um, it also shows them on the map, which is really good. So I'm going to go around uh, real quick and see if I can find a cup to give this guy. And we can check out the world. I'm a little sad that it's nighttime, but you know what? Um, this world is so beautiful. The Shire is awesome. Um, it's a great place to mine and um, do a lot of things at night because no mobs really form here. Um, it is a safe, safe place to be, and that's what makes the Shire so good. Because you don't really have to worry about um, people coming to destroy world. What is this? That's ale. 
I don't really get into the ales, but I do want one of these. Um, I do not know what I can f forge one of those, but I'm, I'm not in one for the drinking. But I just stole your cup so I can get back over here. And as you see, you can see the book from a distance, which allows you to find the guy that you are doing your deals with. So it makes it really easy to do this stuff. Now, uh, last time I played, I don't think it had these uh, exclamation points of other people. You just had to ask five or ten people, and eventually you would find somebody with a quest. But now you know who has a quest right away. So let's drink this parry. And we've got the drunken effect. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We are going a little whoopsie tipsy doopsie doopsie. It's a little bit difficult to do this while you're drunk. Um, there is an achievement to kill things in this position, in this state. And also, I think if you talk to somebody else who is drunk, <laughs> you get an achievement. But here you go. And seeing it was an easy quest, it says plus five. Um, and as you see up top, it says I'm plus five on the hobbits. So, and he gives me a little bit of money. So let's throw away the dirt. Um, I don't know what, he gave me 12 coins. This one with, with the backwards D is kind of like a dime to me. And so it equals 10 and these are pennies. That's kind of how I remember it. Um, so let's go and see what else we can do. Maybe there, there's another person with a quest over here. I want to get the quest up to 10. Um, to show the bar, the bar shows that it goes up to plus 10 right now, but I want to show could you get me seven apple from the orchard i don't even know where the orchard is guy but you know what this is quest time so i'm gonna gonna accept the quest <clears throat> i need i am in need of two bronze hose okay that one um we'll go mining i know it's dark out there's gonna be a cave around here somewhere and i can get some bronze pretty quickly i think you have to make it with 10 maybe or am i thinking of something else that's that's not a cave that i really want and um i am playing this with optifine which gives the dynamic lighting which i think is pretty awesome so let's us find a cave of worthiness that's not a cave of worthiness looks like another hobbit house over there um, does this cave one work? No, I think this one might, right? Maybe? Okay. So, down here, even though it's dark and all that, and you should be scared, because things may form, and even, you know, uh, cobwebs and stuff form down here, but you are safe. Nothing's going to attack you that I know of. I could be wrong, because I am not a uh, master at this game. I'm still learning a lot of it, but from my knowledge, uh, you are 100% completely safe in the Shire. Let's eat up a little bit because I do not like that. I'm going to open up my bag and throw some stuff into it. Um, let's, no, we don't want to throw the food in there. Let's, let's throw the ores. Is this, that's copper, so... Bronze is one that I have to make. Um, ten, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. You can mix two um, metals to get what you want. What is that? Saltpeter. I don't know if we need saltpeter, but I'll grab it just because it's here. And we can get unstuck from that pile of gravel. So, um, it is a tedious game to play. Because uh, lots of things can be done. But I think that tediousness is what makes it also an awesome game. Because uh, you can do this forever, basically. And you will continually uh, have things to do. I imagine some people have gotten to the point where it's like, uh, I am bored, tired of this game. Uh, there's nothing more to do, but I think that is a rarity because it is so huge and there's so much to do that 
Why did I only make 12? Oh, because I only had a couple of torches. Duh. So what is this? Is this silver? Or is this 10? I think I'm looking for 10 to make bronze. Let me see. Uh, 10. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. Let me just steal a couple of these. I want to see if I uh, can make the bronze. So I'm trying to shake the cobwebs from my head from the past. Because I have, I've had some experience in here, but it was over a year ago. I made <clears throat> actually like 10 episodes of the Lord of the Rings mod back then and never actually released them. And I thought about releasing them recently, but as a YouTuber, you realize that you consistently improve. And when I look back at the old videos from like 15 months ago, it was the quality of yeah, the quality I am not too proud of. Um, so I did not, I decided not to release them when they came into it. And there is a clock. Or uh, every morning, I, it just became morning. It's telling me that, you know, the date and the time that is going on. And Shire Reckoning. Hello, I think you should get out of the cave, ma'am. And okay, well, maybe they're going to do something dirty. I don't, well, this is Shire folk. I don't think they can do, do dirty deeds. <laughs> so I'm going to smelt up this ore real quick work let's do i have it on it i just do it right here sorry guys i'm throwing something nasty in your place uh he she wanted two and i got the sticks already i don't know how to combine these we'll find out <clears throat> it's been a while i wondered if two ores will make four you know two of each will make four and where is my bronze my bronze is right here let's get that out of there Let's go like this real quick. Bronze. Let's cook this up. And let's see if we can get another achievement done. I forget what the other person wanted. But if you get your book out, you can right click on it. Oh, and it says give seven apples. So that would be the other one that we're going to do. <clears throat> one more second. All right. And where is that crafting table? Let's see if we combine these two with this. Does that give us the bronze? It does. Bronze award. I am. Br oh, so we need some more. Okay, so we got one bronze. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why bronze is so specialty here. We need to cook two more of those up, I guess. Let's take a look at the beautiful area outside. I, I love all the colors. The grass color here in the Shire is awesome. Um, all the flowers that are in the Shire, butterflies, horses, everything. It's a pretty awesome place to be hanging out. If you don't like the Shire, there might be something wrong with you. Um, and did I not do the other two yet? Copper. Okay. 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 I got you. I got you. Uh, playing a little brain freeze there. All right, so we have the two. I guess I can't stack them. So let's just take this back and let's go find the lady that wants the hose. Thankfully, she did not want diamond. Not even sure if diamond exists in this. I think you are the bronze hoe person. And there we go. I've reached. <clears throat> I got some more um, quest points, I guess. And now I'm above 10. Which changed the bar from going up to 10 up to 100. And I became a hobbit friend. So that's basically what you do. Uh, you go to the different factions and you try and get... If you want to be you know, a friendly guy, you try and uh, get every um, thing up a bit. And if you can get to a certain level with the faction, you can hire troops. You can do other things um, specific to that particular faction. So it's a good thing. And if you wanted to play um, as an evil person, you can kill the Hobbit f folk. But I can't imagine doing that. I mean, come on, look at the, look at these flowers and look at this world. It is so beautiful. And I'm just looking for a an orchard. 
there are um, orchards and farms and stuff in here that are awesome to uh, raid <laughs> for your needs. And if you're running, I guess, I guess some of these these things kind of hurt you. I don't know. I I prefer to run because I'm a runner, not in real life though. Um, there are four leaf clovers, and that is a an achievement. I spent um, a couple of weeks ago when I was thinking about getting back into this. I, I made a world and I played it for like three or four hours and I spent an hour of it just looking for a four leaf clover and I did find one. So they do exist. I even t tweeted it out. Um, I was so proud of myself. <laughs> When I originally recorded this episode, I did not think that it was actually going to be two episodes. So this is the cut at the end of where episode one should be, telling you that, sorry for the abrupt ending, I was not expecting to end this episode now. But the episode is over, and the next episode, <laughs> and the next episode, if I can say next, will be finding those apples. So I can turn them in for a quest and get better hobbit positioning. A little future hacks seen here, but we won't get into that. Have a good day. Thank you for watching the episode. See you later. Goodbye.